Hey, how's it going guys? Zedai here. So, you know, I wanted to bring up this conversation and relating towards the Grand Theft Auto 6. So I wanted to bring up this question, right? When is the second trailer going to be released for Grand Theft Auto 6? You know, it's obviously a question for many. There were so many rumors and speculations. On top of that, the more of a recent rumors going on that we should see a second trailer from Grand Theft Auto 6 from Rockstar in August of 2024, so following month. Uh, my personal opinion, I don't think so. I really do not think that we're gonna get anything related to Grand Theft Auto 6 for some time being. I think that Rockstar is gonna go with a similar approach as they have done with their previous games such as Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto 5, Red Dead Redemption 1 and Red Dead Redemption 2. And I think they're actually gonna wait a whole year uh, to release the second trailer. Now, what do I mean also re relating to how Rockstar have been going about and releasing their second trailers for their upcoming big games? First release of the decade, well at this point it will be two decades in fact, coming up, <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 4, right? The very first trailer released in March of 29th, 2007. Insane just to think about how long ago that was. And then the second trailer came out in June of 28th, 2007. And that, that actually meant about, what is it, well technically it's 89 days, but I'm just going to refer to these as say 90 days past until we have seen a second trailer uh, when the first trailer released. Now granted as well, this doesn't mean much due to that this means that, what, what was it, like what, three months and then we're receiving a second trailer? Obviously, since this was Grand Theft Auto 4 we're talking about, and again, this was 2007, a lot of things has changed by then. So, I can't really put in too much of metrics or too much of concrete evidence into Grand Theft Auto 4's release lineup into Grand Theft Auto 6. But let's continue on, such as the Red Dead Redemption 1. First trailer debuted was in May 6th, 2009. And then the second trailer for that game released in November the 30th, 2009. That was basically 204 days since the first trailer released. That's how long uh, we had to wait. Still, it meant that only, uh, well, same year, we actually got an opportunity to see a second trailer for Red Dead Redemption 1. Now, also we have to understand that even though they have debuted the trailer in 2009, they released the game in May of the 18th, uh, 2010. So, you know, it wasn't even just about a year, right, until they actually released the game. But now how Rockstar operates, basically, well, we unfortunately have to wait up to two years until we actually see the game and we actually get an opportunity of playing. So here's where actually a lot more concrete evidence and information are coming into play. I'm talking about Grand Theft Auto V. Here is the time where it actually makes more sense and how, uh, you know, we can actually find the evidence and maybe even follow a route similar to what Rockstar have done before. So Grand Theft Auto V Trailer 1 debuted on November the 2nd, 2011. And then the Trailer 2 released was April 30th, 2013. Insane. That means about 538 days we had to wait for the second trailer for Grand Theft Auto V. Just to think about that. And then, just like, when you're considering this, why did they even decide to release the very first trailer so long ago and then wait almost two years to see the second trailer? That's just um, unprecedented just to think about that. And then we're finally getting into their more recent game, obviously, Red Dead Redemption 2. So the first trailer debuted on October the 20th, 2016, and then the second trailer came out in the September 28th of 2017. Means that it took 338 days for it to get a second trailer, at least we had to uh, all had to wait. So this, yes, already kind of confirms it more or less that well, a year, a whole year, basically, we had to wait to see the second trailer. Now, I think it's going to be the same thing done with the Grand Theft Auto 6. We've received the first trailer on December the 4th, 2023, and yet we also got a confirmation 
in terms of when we will be getting this game releasing, at least the year window. It obviously is 2025. And then with the more of a recent uh, conference calls, basically they confirm that you should expect Grand Theft Auto 6 to be releasing at fall of 2025. Now Rockstar are unfortunately quite notorious with their delays and perhaps maybe this is the reason why they decided to showcase and say okay we'll be releasing this game 2025 but they gave us no concrete release date because they were not yet confident but it seemed like they were pretty pretty confident relating towards the year of the release for the Grand Theft Auto 6 being on 2025. Now, I personally am glad the way that at least they mentioned anything relating to of its, you know, year release. But there still is a little slight of possibility that they may delay this game. It is possible that they may delay to 2026, in fact. I genuinely do not want them to. I think that two years since the first release of the trailer is enough. I don't think they need to go any further. Three years, it just will be pushing it, unfortunately. Now, you never know. Even though they have revealed the first trailer on December the 4th, 2023, they may showcase second trailer sometime maybe October, November, or yet again December of 2024. And that's it. Those three months are the months I do expect to see a second trailer for the Grand Theft Auto 6. And as such, I do think that the time when the game will be coming out in 2025, I think it will be the later half of the year, obviously. It's not even... It's not my thoughts, it's genuinely confirmed information at this point, that sometime during that time frame we will see the game being finally be, uh, debuted, well, launched. And still, I think that the second trailer is will most likely be coming up uh, October, November, or December. In fact, I would have argued and said no way in chance we would have expected to see anything that would have been in December from Rockstar, but because of the first trailer that the first trailer came up from Rockstar was in December the 4th, 2023, that's why I'm going to have to include this month as well. But if I would have to, you know, be betting man, I would say November. Sometime maybe even early of November 2024, that's when we will get a second trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6. It genuinely is interesting, you know, what kind of things we can expect from the second trailer. Now, let's actually touch that a little bit. So, from the Grand Theft Auto 4 second trailer by the name of Looking for That Special Someone. Kind of got into a little bit of a story and grips and towards Nico and his motivation being in New York and what he's doing there. And kind of showcases a little bit more of the world of New York and also Nico's background and how Nico looks like. Kind of actually got, gives us a little bit, a unique look towards that uh, you know, that protagonist and also the world. Then uh, Red Dead Redemption trailer 2, my name is John Marston, obviously introduction towards John Marston and also the world a little bit more, characters and such, just makes it a little bit more appealing, kind of similar style like it was in Grand Theft Auto, uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, if, you know, in my opinion, obviously. Now Grand Theft Auto 5 also actually done with a similar route. Trailer 2 uh, basically introduces Michael, Franklin, and Trevor. So again, showing off a little bit of the world of Los Santos in Grand Theft Auto 5, and also the main protagonist that you would be able to play as, Michael, Franklin, and Trevor. And then Red Dead Redemption 2 was for the trailer 2, just basically they named it as official, true, whatever. It's but yeah, it went a little bit of a similar route in terms of characters, world, you know, they kind of have a similar element the way they do their trailers, especially their second trailers. Because I noticed from the first trailers that they showcased, they were always a little bit uh, kind of vague, right? They don't tell you explicitly, this is what who you are, this is what you do, if that makes sense, right? They just don't tell you too much in regarding of the plot or your motivation. And in first trailer, they, they never do. It makes sense. For spoiler reasons, maybe they just decided to be this vague on purposely. It kind of makes sense in my opinion. But then in trailer 2, pretty much in all their games, when they showcased it, uh, they go a little closer towards the characters and a little more towards the world of their games that they created. So I do expect to see the same route once again, but this time for Grand Theft Auto 6. I do expect from the se uh, second trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6, 
we will see more about the protagonists, right? We will see a little closer towards Miami or, you know, say that Miami fictionalized Miami Vice, basically. Genuinely makes them kind of more intriguing, I kind of rack which way they will go in terms of trailer two. Will it be the similar like style that they did with the trailer one? You know, having a good background music and having characters talk over a little bit occasionally. It's just similar to right as they went with trailer one, like actually now that I think about it, they've pretty much done the same thing again and again, uh, pretty much for all their games. But still, I'm not gonna be disappointed because of that. Uh, I just was wondering if they're gonna go a little bit of a unique route, different route, I do not know. Oh, if you guys are interested, obviously I could just slightly quickly here mention as well regarding the third trailer as well, maybe that's a little bit pushing it, but Honestly, I think that perhaps maybe sometime in April, May, uh, yeah, I'll say maybe March even, March, April, May of 2025, that's when we can expect a, a third trailer from the Grand Theft Auto 6. Now, obviously, I'm looking, uh, you know, and seeing the differences that was done with the Grand Theft Auto 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2, and they actually went a little bit similar route as that for their third trailer anyway, so in my opinion that I think basically they will be uh, going something special maybe they will do a little extra more uh, more trailers introductions towards uh, Grand Theft Auto 6 because if you guys did not know Grand Theft Auto 5 actually had what is it four trailers like those that big trailers I would even consider saying obviously they have more than that but Red Dead Redemption 2 initially actually had six trailers so one of them was a debut trailer as mentioned then the second trailer and then well, there was also a third trailer believe it or not <laughs> there was a fourth trailer but that was considered to be an official gameplay trailer 5 was also official gameplay but that was like a part 2 of it uh, and then they went into the trailer 6 that was basically an official launch trailer so I think they actually may go with a similar route maybe they'll have three different trailers like trailer 1 we already received trailer 2 presumably coming in October November December 2024 and then uh, perhaps in maybe March April May they will release trailer 3 and then they obviously will go during the summertime or a little bit after that, perhaps they'll go closer towards an official gameplay presentation for Grand Theft Auto 6. And obviously we're gonna see plenty of you know, extra trailers and especially the launch trailer basically at the same time when a game will be releasing. Whew. Now, when do I think also the Grand Theft Auto 6 is released going to be happening? Obviously as already mentioned, it's gonna be happening in fall of 2025. But the question is, when? What date? What month? Date? The date? No. I'm not even going to bother putting out there because I will be 100% wrong. I don't believe we can even really guess as well what date would be uh, quite understandable for Rockstar to put. And also, this can shuffle. This can always constantly be changed. We do not know. But if I would have had to put a month, I would say... Like initially I would have said September, but now I'm considering and thinking about October. So I think I'm going to go with October. Sometime maybe mid to early October. Not late. Red Dead Redemption 2 was actually late October when it launched. So I think it will be early or mid of October of 20 2025. That's when I think Grand Theft Auto 6 will be officially be releasing. All right, guys, that's for a little bit of my speculations. Just want to have a little bit of a general conversation, you know, you know just going to break down details and just some some interesting facts to go over as well relating to Grand Theft Auto 6, Rockstar and all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching guys, do let me know as well your assumption, your estimation, speculations, all that great stuff, I'd love to read it out in the comments. Alright then, like and subscribe, see you guys all and have a wonderful day.